back up here at Camp Cuddy. Dino and uh, cousin Davey and the boys have been hunting for the last couple days. And I'm just getting up here for the first time this season. We got Brian, national sales manager for Rocky, in the house. Turkey hunting with us for the next couple days, so we actually have to act like we know what we're doing. See if we can put him on a bird. Uncle Jay's in town. It's going to be a really fun filled next couple days. Tomorrow's supposed to be really nice. We got a bird that's been gobbling in the field next to camp. And uh, pretty sure where we know where he's going to go roost right now. So kind of exciting to know where one is first thing in the morning, but there's definitely a bunch of birds around here. We've had a bunch of trail camera pictures, videos, and stuff, so should be fun. Hopefully they're talking. It's got to be the same bird with just the two hens that came in on us opening morning. They're going to roost in the same exact spot as he, as he has been. But he's not easy to kill right there. But it's good to know he got something to chase in the morning. Cheers. Yep. Cheers. Good. Back up. Back up. Just kill a bird. Just back in camp. camp. Exactly. Just... That's, that's all the best part of it. Mm -hmm. Nucks and bucks. Clucks, go ahead and cluck. Nucks and clucks. <laughs> Lots of clucks. Good luck. Good luck. Heading into the bogs of Nettle Hill. Turkey season 22. Guest speaker, Brian from Rockies in the house. Let's go, Gus. Cooperate. I think, honestly, we need to be quiet. Like, we need to be focused on this. I, if he works his way back here, we'll know when he gets to the top of the hill. But I don't know what that means. Just got back here. We got two birds now back here that we didn't know were here gobbling. It's super foggy. I'm just talking to the camera. We just heard a hen fly down. We had to literally lay on this lay down right here because we can't really move those birds loosely around us. Just flew. We just had a bird fire.
I couldn't see him. It looked, yeah, it looked. The, one, there was the three that came up, but the one stayed right in there, and oh. he had a bigger head on him. That's oh, what I, okay. I, I, I mean, I could have shot that one. It was just a little... Yeah, the J. Yeah. Because there was, when they went out into the field, there was a red head just on the right-hand side of that, okay. that fence post, uh -huh. and he hung up in there and didn't come out. And he looked like, he looked like a bigger bird. Dang it. The day all, they all went. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going down through there. I could have shot that one for a little bit. I know, I had my heart was thumping. <laughs> and I, and I, I think you guys wanted me to shoot one. I wasn't going to shoot him. He's just a, like, go. Oh. But when we were just, just about to get set up, mm. after I had made the couple calls, I looked over to adjust this thing, and there's a freaking gobbler coming through the field. Is it right? Yeah. It had to be the one from the corner. And I don't know if he saw the white on the other side of there or just caught me moving. I mean, he was a couple hundred yards out in the field. But he stopped and his head was up. And then he just turned and you know, really fast walked back that way. Uh, I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. And then, I, you know, these birds, I'm like, where are these birds at? Why are they not calling again? Well, I figured once they shut up that they must have done it. Right there. Somewhere. Yeah, coming. Yeah. Dang it. But there, I, there was a fourth one that hung up like right on the edge of the thick stuff. And I said, I just gotta wait and see what that is. Because it looked like it was gonna come right up the road to me. And all I could see was a, just the top of his head like that. Dang it. I see, I never saw that bird. Yeah. Well, that's why I was wondering. I was wondering whether you could see it and I couldn't. Because this tree. And that tree up there, we're kind of blocking it. But obviously, yeah, you could see less than I could. Yeah. Go figure. Who knows if we would have had the decoys out of those yeah. would have come in. But... Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. It's May 5th. Yeah, it is. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Italian version. Cinco de Maestro. Cinco de Maestro. Well, great day to kill a bird. We definitely have birds around from all angles. We have birds that are almost 360. They're over at the gravel pit. We've heard, we've heard some shots this morning though. So some birds may have bit the dust, but they're still, it's been a little quiet the last 30 minutes, but this is about the time he's going to fire, where they fire. He's going to fire and he's going to be 60 yards over the hill, and we're going to be scrambling. Be cool, man. Be cool. Be cool, man. Be chill. Well, I feel better now knowing that he was the uh, yeah. was, was the bird to wait on. <laughs> yeah. didn't, didn't pass the jakes. <laughs> uh, well, we just got got twice yep. <laughs> in about 15 minutes. Uh, we were, it was a little bit of, I mean, birds were talking early. Yeah. Saw a couple hens and we were sitting up, up on the one food plot for a while. And it just, we, nothing was going on. These birds fired up a couple hundred yards away. So we packed up and made a break for them and ended up calling three jakes and a gobbler. Great footage, could have killed all three jakes, but the gobbler hung up in the, in the thicket. He eluded us. And then, had another one that I didn't even get on camera that we called in, not even trying to, and it spooked him. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe go get a cup of coffee and collect our thoughts. <laughs> Try and go fire up a ten to noon bird. We're making a move. This bird back here is shut up. And there's a bird by himself. We could hear him probably half a mile away. 
in a field out there, but he's got one like crazy. Should I should I uh, hit the box call on the way? Yeah. Like we're yeah. like we're running him. Like we're flying. <laughs> like a running hen. You got a scorecard? <laughs> got a pencil? <laughs> Mind if we play through? <laughs> How did you, how did you, Gus? Do you mind if we play through? It's funny, actually. How did you, Gus? How did you, Gus? Would you mind if we play through? Being a twosome, do you mind if we play through? <laughs> Turkey's won today. Yep. Looking for a lack of trying. Took it right down to the buzzer. Playing with us. But they toyed. They, they toyed with us all morning. Tried to get us from the the double angle. Had two coming in at once, and then we couldn't. Spent the last two hours trying to get one to budge, but he wouldn't do it. Must have had a couple hens down there in his plot, and he was content. But he was pacing. Seems like he, he was pacing back and forth. Yeah, he was pacing, that's for sure. <laughs> now it's time for a sandwich, regroup, and... Hear hope, what the boys had to... Oh, yeah. Stories they could tell. See what kind of lies they're telling today. Back at him tomorrow.